We got the phone call at 1.42 in the morning. Memories of a mom frozen in time. Of course, I didn't believe it at first, so it's kind of like shock. Grayson Tonks, just 14 years old, when a madman took his mom's life. Nisha Tonks was 46. We all feel this pain and this unknowing and why did it happen and it just shouldn't have, just plain shouldn't have. It's very sad for us and I never wanted to breathe again. Her parents, Debbie and Chris Davis, moved into Nisha Summerlin home to make things easier for Grayson and his older brothers, Braxton and Caden. It's, uh, it's kind of like having pieces of my mom because they, uh, they're the ones who raised her. Las Vegas, please join us in 58 seconds of silence for the 58 individuals who lost their lives on 1 October. These individuals will never be forgotten. They leaned on the loving people of Las Vegas and say the Vegas Golden Knights gave them something to rally behind. Nisha's baby sister, Minda Smith, also stepped up to help out. Pretty soon, the three of us, me and Deb and Minda, you know, we said, you know, if we don't claw our way out and if we don't help our boys to become better with this, if we can't show them some light, you know, we're going to be in the, in the depths of darkness all the time. Slivers of light came slowly. Problems needed solving, like sending Braxton to college. Perhaps a struggle for others in the same situation. So they started the Children of the 58 Scholarship Fund. You realize that it wasn't our own journey. It was a journey with 58 families, and we didn't understand why we were all doing it alone. We've actually discovered there's about 55 children under the age of 21 who we feel like we can make a difference in their life because they may have lost their breadwinner as well. Nisa's family hopes to raise $3 million to help every child of the 58 go to the college or trade school of their choice. And then be the best that they can be and be proud of themselves, knowing that their parent would be proud of them too. I think Nisha would be so proud of what we're trying to do in, in her honor and her name. They're pushing past their pain, pouring everything they have into this new passion. I don't know, just to keep her light shining instead of letting it dim out, like to make it for something instead of nothing.